Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we will continue with our data visualization and dashboard creation and will specifically focus on three really important visuals. These are going to be slicers, matrices, and maps. Let me go ahead and show you what we're gonna do in Power BI. All right, so right now we are in the Power BI dashboard and what you see here on the left-hand side that we are of course in the still in the report view we inserted our image here, pretty straightforward. We also inserted here our title to the dashboard. Right now, what I would like to do is I would like to go ahead and explore our visuals. So on the right-hand side here, you will see a menu, okay, that includes a lot of visuals. For example, if you would like to do stacked bar chart, if you hover on top of any of these visuals, a lot of information is gonna appear to you, the name basically of the visual. And you can just simply click on it to be appear here as one of these visuals. You can do, for example, let's say here pie chart. You can do scatter chart. You can also explore here additional ones like a map, for example. And then I'm going to show you a few of those today. And uh, of course, when we cover advanced projects afterwards, I'm going to show you a lot of advanced features. You can also see that here we have what we call it key influencers. And these are artificial intelligence power tools developed by Microsoft. So you don't need to actually develop any of the algorithms, but you can gain a lot of insights about the data using um, just by dragging and dropping these items. And of course, specifying which features or which variables from here you actually care about. All right. So the first visual that I'm interested in is what we call it slicers. So what you see here is that I have many options, of course, but here we have our slicer. So if you go ahead and please make sure that you have already clicked here, meaning that you would like to place the slicer anywhere, basically here, and you're not going to overwrite any of the previous items that you got before, okay? So I'm clicking here somewhere, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on slicer. What you notice here is that a slicer basically appeared and it's telling you select or drag fields to populate in this visual. So what I would like to do is I would like to focus primarily on the happiness report data, and I'm going to ignore this. So I'm just going to simply close that pretty much. This is the uh, practice opportunity data set. I'm primarily gonna focus on the 2019 world happiness report data. And what I would like to do is I would like to drag and drop the country or region here you can go ahead and drag it here in the fields option. When you do that, you should be able to see, here we go, every single country that has been included in our Excel sheet or CSV file has been included here basically as part of the slicer. So now I can go ahead and I can select item. For example, if I'm interested in, let's say Argentina, for example, or maybe I would like to explore Australia, you can go ahead and select items from here. What you notice as well is whenever we select any specific visual, what's going to happen is on the right hand side here, if you click on format your visual, you will find specific format formatting options specific to this visual. For example, if you click on slicer settings, you will notice that here I have many options. One of them is vertical list, and that's the default value. You can select tile, meaning that now you can see a tile showing every single country. So I can go ahead and select, let's say, for example, here, like let's say Belgium, for example, you can select Australia, Austria, and so on. You can go ahead and select a drop down menu. So if you say drop down menu, that would be much cleaner, I would say, especially if we have a lot of countries. So it doesn't make sense to have a tile that includes like 150 countries. And that's why here it's better to select the drop down option, one person might say, well, where is the select all option? Well, here we go. You will all, everything you have thought of has already been included here before. So what you see here is if you select, if you click on selection and if you, I think I'm hiding it right now. Okay, so, and then if you select, what I would like to do is show select all. So if you do select all, that is going to show you here all the select all option, okay? So that's pretty much how if you select select all right now, you'll be able to select every single country that you got. And this is simply our first visual and that's the, what we call it the slicer. It's gonna be really useful. And kind of at the root of thumb, what we do is that we put all the controls, of course, next to the title on top of the dashboard. So if I have some controls here, if I would like to filter out 
based on a specific country or region, we put them there on top. Okay, and please note that I've included a lot of details, pretty much every single step that I'm doing along the way is included as well in our uh, slides and PowerPoint slides. Okay, the next visual that I would like to show you is what we call it the matrix. So if you come here to the right, you will find that here I have a matrix visual. Again, make sure that you're clicking somewhere here. And then, okay, this shouldn't appear. Okay, it's basically started to ask Q&A. But basically what I would like to do here is I would like to select the matrix. So that would be the matrix visual. And with the matrix visual, I can simply plot or visualize rows versus columns, okay? So what I would like to do here is I would like to show country or region versus the happiness score. So what you see here is you have rows, you have columns, you also have values as well associated with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the country or region and put it on the rows, okay? So here we go, now I've got rows that contains all the different countries. And then I would like to grab the happiness score and then I'm gonna put it in the values value here. And here we go. What you notice is right now we created simply a matrix and that matrix, let me move it from here. And that matrix can show you all the different countries along with their happiness score as well, which is pretty incredible. So what I would like to do as well next, maybe if I would like to sort, let's say this specific um, matrix, and again, I'm trying to follow exactly what we got here. You can go ahead and simply um, sort it by just clicking on it here. And that is going to show you the country with the highest score, starting from Finland and then Denmark and then Norway. And then you go down, you know, like that down the list and you will find the happiness score starts to go down as we move forward. Okay. What I would like to show you right now is something really important. And that's kind of the power of Power BI. Basically what you see right now is all these different options, all these different visuals are connected together. Meaning that if I go up here, and I select, for example, let's say Algeria, for example. What you notice is when you selected Algeria, it has already been reflected on that matrix visual. So everything has been kind of hidden and only Algeria has been selected. So these are kind of the filters that are connected together in the Power BI dashboard. This is really powerful and it can take you forever to do in any other a tool. So right now, if I would like to select maybe, let's say Argentina, for example, or maybe select, so every time you select it, it's going to be reflected here on the other visual. So I would like to go ahead and say, select all that is going to go back and select all the items for us. All right. So the next visual that I would like to show you is maps and maps is pretty interesting and it's super easy to use as well. What you see here on the right hand side under visual visualizations, you should find a map. So again, make sure that you are clicking somewhere in here and then you are selecting a map. And all you need to do is to select the country or region and just drag and drop it and just put it on top of the map. And here we go. Right now you should be able to see, let me actually make this a little bit smaller and maybe let's make the map a little bit bigger here. And here we go. What you see right now is simply the world map and you should see dots here showing all the countries all the 156 unique countries that we selected or are available in our data. Again, every single visual is connected in here. Let me show you. Let me actually double check that. Let's assume that I would like to remove all and I would like maybe to select only, let's say, Australia, for example. So when you do that, what you see right now, two things. On the left-hand side, Australia has only been shown here on that matrix visual. And it also has only been shown here on that map visual as well, okay? So you can go ahead and remove Australia. Let's go ahead and test it out. Maybe select Austria and here we go. Now we go to Europe and you should find the point on the map showing Austria. Again, pretty powerful. If, you're, if you love maps, you can go ahead and explore and play around with it as well. Okay, final point that I would like to show you is, well, what if I would like maybe to rename this, for example, here, instead of sum of scores, I would like to go ahead and rename it. So to do that here, what you find under values, it's called sum of scores. If you'd like to rename this, you can just click on the arrow pointing downwards, and then you can say rename for this visual. Then here, I'm gonna call it, let's say happiness score, because this is the country or region, and this is the happiness score associated with it. 
Also, if you go back to the map, you should be able to see country or region. If you select format your visual, and if you go to general, and if you go to title, you should see country or region. Well, I would like to just call it, let's say country only, for example. Let me actually make sure that this is exactly what we followed as well. Here we go. It's exactly the same as I included on the slides. And that's simply, um, I hope you have been able to see that. So under, again, general, under title, you should be able to see here that I have the country instead of country or region. And that's pretty much it. That's all I have for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next lesson.